Hello YouTube, this is MT Shark 7 here. This is another edition of Game Hunting. So I'm driving back home from uh, Virginia now, so let's see uh, what I can find. So here's our first stop of the day, Corner Videos, which as you can tell from my last, well not my, probably my last last Game Hunting video, I found a bunch of NES games. So let's see what else they have that I can buy. So I just got done from uh, Corner Videos, and they did have some, uh, eh, I guess, okay titles for the NES available. I think RBI Baseball 2 is sort of pricey. I can't remember. But I picked that up and a few others. Basically, all that's left now is games that I either A, already have, B, the label is really jacked up and not even worth it and it's a common title or C, it's just games that are just a common title and really don't need it's basically worth $2 those, those games, maybe 4 at, at uh, my friend's game store but I'm not, it's no, not really worth buying really I did look at around, they do have Super Nintendo and Genesis games they are all sports games so I'm like, eh, I really don't want any of that. So I just left it. Sucks I couldn't find a Super Mario RPG for two bucks, but hey, what can you do? So that's it for now, till the next spot. So here we are at my last stop for today. There's Magic of Memories right um, attached to the Shell gas station. I like to call this my secret place. So, uh, let's see what they have. So I ended up picking up one game from Magic of Memories. There was a couple other games, but they were way out of my price range. Like, and uh, the one game was scratched up. So, eh, it's still a good game I picked up. So, uh, next video I'll show you all what I got. So, stay tuned. Hello YouTube, this is MT Shark 7 here, and I'm going to do a quick video of show you all the stuff I uh, got on my travels home from Virginia. So, first up, um, I did stop at that uh, video store, um, what is the corner video, and I basically uh, wiped them out of anything good that they had, and I asked the uh, person working there if they're going to get any more in, and she said they're not, so I guess that's it with that. I mean, I feel kind of good though that uh, they didn't fall in the hand. They, these games didn't fall in the hands of uh, resellers. So sucks for them. Anyway, uh, let me do make this video real quick because I gotta give my daughter a bath soon. So first off, I didn't even clean these games yet up. I'm gonna clean them probably tomorrow. First up, we got Rad Racer Two, which I. I mean, I'd say basically like two bucks on this. I think it's a four dollar game, but whatever. Two bucks is two bucks. I mean, can't go wrong there. Next up, I picked up Roger Clemens MVP Baseball. Is that? And it has the manual that they basically just printed <laughs> or photocopy rather. Next up, we got RBI Baseball Two. Got that one, which the label's in good condition. I could easily take that off, but like I said, I like to keep it. Like, and I feel like it brings out character, like showing that hey, this used to be rented by millions of people, and now you own it. So, next up, we got Jeopardy, 
which I always thought I had, but I think I have the junior version. And then continuing on from that is Wheel of Fortune. Another game I thought I had, and clearly I didn't. So now I have that good collection. So that was all I got from um, Corner Video. Then I stopped at my, my secret place that I like to call it at uh, the Sunoco there. And then I picked up Clash of Demon Head for NES, which is like 12 bucks, which I think these, this game goes for like I don't know, 16 or something. So I saved a couple bucks off it. And the labels, in, that's the one thing, the labels like in mint condition. So we're glad to have this into the collection. And that's it. Just NES games is all I picked up. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy the out and about footage. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys, you guys think about the new, I guess, improved uh, game hunting that I've been doing. It kind of sucks. I thought that I could um, record, like, merge the video together on my phone because I tested it out. It's just like a quick couple second videos I made and I combined them and it worked. But unfortunately, the program tries to save onto the the phone itself and it doesn't allow me to choose the SD card so every time I when I try to I, I select all the files and when I hit extract to merge it it says out out of memory so what I'm basically doing for these two videos I copy the individual files onto my laptop here and I use the Windows media uh, movie maker and I can just add them and it, it'll combine them that way it's kind of a pain in the ass, but, I mean, oh well, I mean, I only do it for the game hauntings anyway, so, I don't know, let me go, anyway, let me, oh man, it's getting late, anyway, let me know what you think, and, uh, until next time, it's MT Shark 7 signing out, have a good day.